what we believe is that uh, the European Union needs to find a way uh, to find some uh, legal recognition to allow the transnational operation of all social economy actors. We need to solve it. We are not dogmatic, dogmatic on the how. We need to find the how. We need to find the solution. We need to find the tool. What it's not good for the European project is that some legal forms cannot operate transnationally. Um, that's a problem. That's a problem for organized civil society, as we said before, for citizens that want, that want to come together in associations from different countries, okay, and want to found European transnational associations. So another thing that we can change is Article 54 of the Treaty of the Functioning of the European Union. Companies or firms means companies or firms constituted under civil or, com or commercial law, including cooperative societies, that's good by the way, and other legal persons governed by public or private laws, save for those which are non-profit making. That's false. All Europeans know that uh, the grocery shop in the corner might be an Oxfam grocery shop, which is a company, which is an enterprise, but it's not looking to have profits. Or to say it in another way, all profits are invested, so it is non for profit. We all need to have profits to survive, but what do we do with profits? And so many companies in the European Union reinvest those profits. Uh, it can be 100%, again, social co-ops, mutuals, associations, uh, your Oxfam shop around the corner, or it can be 70%. Uh, but this needs to be reflected in Article 54 of the TFEO. Uh, we need to change that. It is basically a mistake, a mistake of the European legislator uh, that has important implications uh, in terms of excluding social economy companies for, from the opportunities of the single market and also recognizing uh, their identity and their specific characteristics and uh, having a special treatment for them. Because uh, treating the same way realities that are not the same is a way to perpetuate inequality.